Hey, good morning. Welcome to Resource Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Please continue to like, share, refer to this channel. Check out my community page if you would, please. In the last video, I said I hadn't been able to post a whole lot because I've been very busy. And, and I'm, I'll tell you right now, I ordered a 10-yard dumpster to clean out what we thought we needed, which we don't. And after 20 plus years, we don't even remember what we have, why we have it, what, what it was for, but dumpster Dolly in the house, I throw it in the bag, she looks in the bag, says, we need that, and I throw it away in the trash, and she looks in the trash, we need that, and it's just a joke, and I have to get away from, <laughs> from her for a little bit, or throw it away when she's in the bathroom and take it out to the truck to take it up to the top of the driveway to throw it away, because I know she can't climb in the dumpster to get it out, that's a real problem. But we just have too much stuff. And even the auctioneer who we contacted to get rid of too much stuff said, man, you got a lot of stuff. So while I'm working and trying not to argue why we don't need so much stuff, I've been thinking about the state of America, trying not to listen to the news, but I'm, I listen to that. And I've come to the conclusion that we are not coming back from this. They are releasing 1,100 illegal immigrants per day into this country without keeping track of it. 75 additional terrorist uh, people on the terrorist watch list are being apprehended per month. And that's just the ones we know about. So while everybody's saying, we got to prepare, we got to do this, you got to do that, do you think it's going to make any difference? Who are you going to fight? Right now, we are so overwhelmed, and the governors in all the states are doing little to nothing except for saying, hey, we want those, we're a sanctuary city, we're a sanctuary state, and we'll take it all as long as you keep giving us taxpayer money to pay for these people who are here to destroy us. And if you think they're not, you better get another idea because the first act is to break our laws. The second act is to take away all our free stuff that's for our citizens and overwhelm our hospitals, our pharmacies, and every other amenity that is reserved for American citizens. Years ago, I did a video saying that he is going to have open borders to set up his uh, foreign army. And I truly believe that I was correct then, and I am correct now. That's why you have 20,000 estimated, and it's going up. Who knows the real number? Last week it was 12,000, and then I heard 15,000, and they said potentially 20,000 military-aged Chinese men here in the United States. Nobody leaves China in that kind of numbers without permission. And maybe that's why, you know, soft on China Joe cut a deal, accepted money to sell out this country because they have their army already here, as well as the other countries he sold us out from. If you say, the, 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 those indictments don't have anything to Joe, that's a lie, come on. The Ohio governor here, DeWine, is a soft-spined idiot like he was when he was a senator, and that's why he was a failure as a senator. That's why he's a failure governor. He's not saying anything to the sanctuary city saying, we're going to stop this. We're not going to fund you if you keep bringing in illegal immigrants. He's not doing that. Why? Because he wants the money from Ohio State University and all the other major universities, Ohio U, Bowling Green, Toledo University and all the others to fund his campaign and not vote against him. Now he's fortunately, he's gonna be term limited out, but the damage is done. There are a few governors like Abbott and uh, DeSantis. And I was trying to think of a few other that may be putting up a fight, but a majority are not. They're not saying, no, we don't want him to get out. They're allowing it to happen because they already know it's too late and they want to be on the side 
when the system collapses, they want to know, we did everything we could, but, you know, we were just overwhelmed. And so, uh, you know, I'm going to bow down to Xi Jinping and his army that's in here. We are offloading as much stuff as we possibly can, throwing it away, selling it, and keeping the vital stuff. I'm putting no stock in material things any longer. I am putting stock in God, which I always have, but now I am seeing with more clarity how close we really are to the end. And now that I'm at the end of my life, and the sound, sands of the hourglass are running and you're, you're on the clock saying, wow, you know, 64 years sure went fast. And now maybe 10 years, maybe 15 years before I'm expired. It's a rude awakening when you see with clarity you're on borrowed time. The point is... You're going to have to make a decision. Who are you going to fight for? Who are you going to stand up to? And are you going to repent of your sins? So when the time does come, and it is short, it is absolutely short. When the time comes, you are prepared to exit with dignity and be with God in heaven. It's as simple as that. Yet people make it more difficult. And you see these people en masse out in the streets supporting mass murder, wanting genocide. And you think they're going to stand up for you? They're already canceling Christmas and Hanukkah to appease the demons that are roaming the earth now. And the elected officials and the unelected bureaucrats might as well be out in the street with them supporting what they're saying because they want to be on what they perceive the right side for the end of America. I wanted to do a video. I wanted to get it uploaded. I wanted to take a break from Dumpster Dolly in the house. And now I'm going to go back. We're going to struggle over what is valuable and what isn't and how we can liquidate I mean, I'm, when I'm telling you, we have walk-in closets we haven't even been in because they're so full of stuff we both bought. Uh, it is time to uh, downsize dramatically. Repent of your sins. And yes, it is scripture. Peter says, repent of your sins and be baptized. Jesus in Matthew says, repent of your sins. Repent and be baptized is part of it and it is crucial to uh, get yourself right with God take him into your heart help him sort out your mess of the life that you made get right get good be prepared Greg out